I polled you guys and over 40% of you haven't used a Brannock device to measure your foot or have had somebody else do it. 40%, that's a really large number. And this right here is a Brannock device. There are other devices, but this one has become the standard for true to size measurements. It tells you your foot size and your width here. And the width is something that has become overlooked by many brands these days. But I'm here to give you three reasons not to overlook it yourself. Let's get into it. Ha! I'm just here to connect ya. And then I'll be on my way. So here is the Braddock device. You have different areas for the left and right foot. And then as you go down, you can see what size it is. This is the... Uh, actual shoe size that's how you discover that and then over here you have your width size so then you push this all the way against your foot and then wherever it lands that determines what width you are and as you can see you have all the way from triple a which is really narrow all the way up to triple e which is really wide and then over here this is your arch measurement which doesn't come in as frequently. You can also try boots based off of this as well, but you might run into an issue where the boot is just too wide to fit your arch, which is why the width size is so important. Reason number one, not to overlook width size. Knowing your width size is a great starting point, guys. All brands fit a little different, so when you measure yourself on the Brannock device, it's a great starting point to know where to begin, right? And I spoke about this with Pete's Clothing Hodge Bootery on a recent podcast interview. And here's what they had to say from the perspective of a small Western wear store in Belfouche, South Dakota. Do you guys have a Brannock device or another way to measure foot size and width in your store? And how important is that to the customer's experience? You know, we do have the device, um, but a lot of our customers just want to, and we do use it from time to time, but a lot of our customers want to try the boot on, feel it, um, and we want to make sure that they feel good and that they've still got that room in it, you know, in front of their foot, but trying it on is the best for us because um, all these boot brands, you're going to jump, jump around in sizes and, I mean, trying it on and touching it as 100% what I feel is the best. You know, it's kind of a, a starting point with the Brannock device. Absolutely. If somebody comes in and has no idea, they you know, they're they they don't they don't even know what size shoe they wear, you know, we'll use the the device to have a starting point. It's just a starting point. Huge thanks to Pete Clothing and Hodge Bootery for joining me on that. And it is so true, right? You have to get into the store and try on a bunch of boots. This is a starting point, guys. Here's why you should know your starting point when you go to a store and try on a bunch of boots, right? This boot right here is a 10E, 10 Eddie, right? This, my true size, is a 12B Benny, right? But this fits me really well. In fact, this was my first cowboy boot that was an exotic that I got from Davis Trailer World. And you know why it works? Is because the toe shape is wider. This is a French toe, okay? And there's more room up here for my toes. So I'm able to size down and go wider because there's more room here for my toes. And this was, this is a great fitting boot. It is seriously incredible. I had the spiritual experience when I put it on and I had to buy it. So sometimes knowing your true width and then sizing down if you're a narrow width works to go an average width or maybe sizing up if you're a wider width because remember width is proportional to size it changes depending on what foot size you are it's not always the same right but when you size down or size up you're missing out on one very very important area of fit and this is my second reason why you should not overlook the width size in cowboy boots when you size down, you completely ruin your arch fit. This R. Watson cowboy boot, I really like the fit of. It's a 12B, my true size, 12 Benny. And the reason why I like it is because the arch fit is perfect, right? A lot of folks 
try to size down and make cowboy boots work. And I did that for a decade. I had, I had no idea, right? I just thought that's how it was. I wore boots for a decade before I experienced a boot in my true size. And it was seriously life-changing. It happened right here on the channel when I went to Beth West in Washington State. It was all because of ArchFit. And until you experience the arch support from your true width, you're not getting the most out of your cowboy boot fit. Width is good for fitting around the widest part of your foot, but it's all about the fit at the arch. That's where it's most, most important. Seriously, life-changing. The third reason that I have for you about why not to overlook width size is that it makes online shopping easier. Now, we spoke about this before. It's always best to go to your local store, like a Pete's Clothing Hodge Bootery, or even just drive a ways to go to Pete's Clothing Hodge Bootery and try on a bunch of different sizes, right? A bunch of different boots. But if you don't have the budget for a new pair of boots, knowing your true size and width from a Brannock device is a great place to start when buying older vintage boots online that are used, right? Back in the golden age of boots between the 60s and 90s, brands made several different widths, especially those old Nakona boots. They made everything from quadruple A all the way up to quadruple E. Quadruple A being very, very narrow and quadruple E being very, very wide. And I tried a quadruple A right here on the channel and of course it was a Nakona. You could do this with new boots too if you wanna Try to shop online in a boot that's not your size. If you know your true size and width, you will have a better idea of what sizes might work from brands that don't carry your specific width. That way you will get the best fit possible in a kind of gambling way without dealing with pesky returns. And so many people ask me, what brands are those that have more than just two widths, right? What brands? There's there's a lot of them out there, right? And Several of them are carried by Pete's Clothing Hodge Bootery. R. Watson is one of them. They have a B-width for men. Uh, also, Hondo is carried by Pete's Clothing Hodge Bootery. I got B-width Hondos, amazing fit. Also, Anderson Bean is a brand that has B-widths as well. Rios of Mercedes, same family of brands. BNV Boots in El Paso. Fenolio is one as well that's based in Nakona. In fact, those Nakona lasts, the thing that they make the boot around, they have old Nakona lasts there since they have old folks who used to work at the Nakona factories when it was still based there. So they have access to the sizes that those old Nakona boots were made from and they can make you A widths if you want to, all the way up to double E's, I believe. So those are brands that have that width size available. And it is so, so important, right? Jim Collins in here is saying proper fit is arch number one, 100%. It's incredible what a proper fitting boot can do at the arch. It is amazing. Over 40% of you have not used one of these things and I highly recommend that you go to a small Western wear store that has one. Boot Barn isn't gonna have these. Cavenders probably doesn't have these, right? It's the small family-owned Western wear stores that has these that can fit you properly. So support your small Western wear local stores. They're way, way better than the big box franchise places. That's another thing that I wanted to mention. As you get older, your foot width will widen, right? We gained a little bit of weight. We're on our feet all day for decades at a time. How could our feet not get wider? And I think that's part of the reason why some of the other widths have sort of strayed away from the 60s and 90s. That customer base definitely has gotten older and the foot has gotten wider. But as cowboy boots become more popular nowadays again, we have younger folks. I mean, the majority of viewers who watch my channel are between the ages of 25 and 34. Maybe not old enough to have their foot get really, really, really wide. Of course, sometimes it might occur, but the majority of you 
haven't had that happen yet. My foot has stayed the same size. I just turned 36 on Monday. So I still fit in 12B boots and I love it. I will imagine that someday it might become a C width. I'm not maybe a D width, maybe by the time I'm 74, we'll find out. But as cowboy boots become more and more and more popular, I think that brands will start to release more of these other widths that they haven't had available for 20 or 30 years. Uh, so I think there's going to be a shift, at least I hope so, for my sake, anyways, if I'm going to be selfish about it. I want to try these boots that everybody else is trying and actually feel what they actually feel like. <laughs> you guys request boots all the time and I'm like, oh, they don't have a B with. Oh, geez, this is going to be another one of those videos. <laughs> and it just makes breaking in the boot just that much worse. <laughs> But I know how to, I, I try to uh, translate it. I've tried so many of I've tried so many of them and I wore a, a boot that wasn't a, that wasn't my true width for a decade or more. So I, I, I can, I can manage. But when it is the true width, it is seriously incredible. Know your true size and width so you can get the right fit with a Brannock device. When you get the right size, you'll be feeling so high, nothing else will suffice. Yeah. It's all in that width. Don't overlook it, and don't let the brands overlook it either. You deserve a good fitting boot. You deserve it. If there's one thing in this world that you deserve, it's a boot that fits.